Well, greetings and salutations. This is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. Okay, it's been a little while since I made a uh, allotment video. Basically, I've been very busy the last uh, week or so, so I haven't been able to get down here. But today, I'm down here for the rest of the day. It's sort of early afternoon now. I've got the rest of today uh, to get as much done as I can. Um, as you may recall, I think the last video I did, I built this little shed. And today, I'm going to build uh, a kind of an extension onto it. Uh, the idea is I'm going to have a roof and hopefully that roof's going to extend out sort of here uh, and then basically I'm going to end up with like um, a greenhouse type arrangement uh, here. Now I have no idea how far I'm going to get today, hopefully uh, make a decent bit of progress. But I've just been down to the builders merchants and I've bought some uh, polythene sheeting for the roof and I've got some, uh, these are like stud joists, I've got about 20 of these and um, all I done a little calculation based on some sketches I've made. Um, I haven't got any plans, I'm literally just kind of seeing it in my head. Um, I've also got a bit of feather edge um, for making some walls that, that are hopefully going to go up to about waist height. So what I need to do is get on with it I think because uh, like I say time is running out and uh, I think I've got about four maybe five hours to, to sort of get on with it. Um, as you may notice arms sleeves the sun's out it's actually quite warm today for the first time in, in fact this is the first time this year we're in the middle of june this is the first time this year i've been able to stand on the allotment plot in short sleeves so that kind of gives you an idea of the the kind of weather that we've been having um this year right uh, i've got a new battery on the camera so hopefully i'm going to be able to film a lot of this uh, i think what i'll be doing is leaving um just leaving the camera running and I may do a little bit of running commentary I don't know um, but uh, well we'll we'll see what's what but uh, I'm gonna get on with this now now the beauty of this arrangement is all of these pieces of wood and everything I bought is 2.4 meters long and it just so happens to be the kind of size that um, I can work with so in theory I shouldn't need to do a huge amount of cutting, uh, which is all kind of part of the plan because I haven't uh, got any electricity out here. So, um, but the idea is I'm going to basically put a button across there and it's going to go out. I have to do a little bit of adjusting there. It's going to go out this far and I'm going to attach the roof off of this going out there. Now, you may have noticed the pine that I'm using is uh, completely untreated so I need to kind of hurry up and uh, as soon as the structure has been built I'm gonna have to get in there and paint it anyway I'll worry about this in a bit but basically yeah this is gonna go up to the end and it's gonna overhang so it's also gonna come out 2.4 meters so that's pretty much uh, the size that it's going to be. It's going to come out this far. So I'm literally just going to make a, a roof grid and then make some legs for it and then lean it up against the shed. I've got some bolts that will bolt it through. I should have four roof joists and one on the end. All of them 2.4 meters, no cutting. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have a fourth strut on there, otherwise, the roof struts are not gonna fit properly. Could you might check that? Slight disaster, the battery's run out on my drill so I've got to go back and charge it up. Luckily it's a quick charge so I can be back within half an hour. So uh, I better get going. Okay, that's it, we're back. The drill is all charged up. 
So um, I actually had a bit of tea when I went home. So uh, it looks like I might be here well into the evening uh, getting this done, but um, it's going to be done today. So uh, I'm going to get back on with it. Right then, it's quite late in the uh, evening now and I've had enough and um, the drill has stopped working again. The battery keeps going on the drill and it's really restricting because obviously I can't drill holes without it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to call it a night, but I'll show you what I've got so far. Uh, I'm quite pleased with it. It's, um, I've got the, the, you can see the basic structure. Uh, there's the, obviously that bit's going to be the doorway uh, here. And uh, the roof's all in place. It's not too, Bad. It's quite sturdy and um, obviously I need to figure out this little bit back here. Not quite sure um, what to do here. I might have to bolt another piece of wood onto the side of the shed and just kind of um, make it just kind of like a mini wall there. Um, I'm not sure. But I'm glad I kind of extended out as far as I could go. It's just given me that extra sort of foot and a half um, of working area. Um, these are just at the right sort of height for um, well the idea is I'm going to use the feather edge up to this point and then the rest of this is going to be windows so uh, quite how the finished thing is going to work out I don't know I shall find out when I build it <laughs> um, but anyway I've had enough today and I'm going to uh, come back early tomorrow and carry on I need to get as much done as I can because I want to get in a position where I can um, put some wood treatment on it so that it's uh, protected from the elements because this is just raw wood there's no treatment whatsoever on it so I need to get cracking on that I should also point out uh, yes the roof does slope there's a very downward slope so the water's going to basically end up at this end so if I want I could put a gutter on it uh, although it's not actually necessary because we do have water supplied um, in the form of troughs so we have water on site so there's no actual need for a water butt and this one's full of pond skaters by looks of it at the moment. Anyway, so that's it so far and um, I shall extend this video and I shall come back to you tomorrow and uh, we'll carry on. <laughs> Well, good morning. It's the next day and the project continued. It's actually very early in the morning. I needed to get uh, an early start because I know it's going to take uh, many hours to sort of do what I'm trying to do and I've actually got to be somewhere this afternoon. So it's all in the timing today. But um, I'm hoping uh, it's, well, it's a 
beautiful day. The, the, um, the forecast is brilliant sunshine all day, so it's going to get quite warm. Uh, I've got my fleece on at the moment, but um, give it uh, give it a few more minutes and uh, that'll be coming off. But um, I had to start off with a, a coffee. Um, basically, this is my first drink of the day, so uh, I didn't even have one at home. I literally just got straight up, come straight out here. So let's uh, let's let the building work commence. Right then, I've done a little bit more, uh, as you can see. I've used some of that wood from down the bottom of the allotment to add some extra spars. These are just um, strengtheners, so when I put the cladding on, uh, they've got something to uh, go against in the middle of these big holes here. I've also added some roof spars um, because I just tried some of the uh, plastic on there and it, it wanted to fall through the hole so uh, I put those spars up. Now I was hoping to get uh, this stuff um, on today, the actual cladding, but I thought it would actually be wiser to um, treat all of this wood first because obviously once the cladding is on the wood I'm not going to be able to get any treatment on the faces. So I'm going to do that now. I've just about got two hours left so I think with two hours I should be able to um, hopefully get the whole lot done including the shed and uh, uh, may maybe even get a second coat on it I don't know uh, but that's what I'm going to do now so I'm going to nip home now and uh, I'm go get some uh, wood preserve which I've got and a brush and some glasses and I should come back and do painting I undid those screws and that one down, where is it, down there and I've managed to hook it up so that it's up on bricks so hopefully I can get in under there and really put some uh, protection on there, some real coating so hopefully that will really help with uh, sealing the wood up uh, to prevent any uh, water ingress from the ground
Well, that's it. I'm out of time. I've got to go. So uh, let's have a quick look at what we've done. Uh, we managed to uh, get the, the whole thing completely painted. I've got two coats on there. I managed to do the shed as well. Uh, not this one. I'm, I need to go and get some more um, wood stain because I've run out or almost run out. So it's all painted at the back. I've just got to do down the side there, but I'm going to wait until the paint is thoroughly dry before I end up shimmying down here. Um, so I have to come in from that side because I'm right-handed. Can't really do it uh, this way. Um, so I can do that next time. I should also get a lick of paint on uh, this one as well. So hopefully uh, they should look kind of quite matching. But so far I'm really pleased with it. And uh, I'm going to leave it up on the bricks uh, just for today so that uh, it can thoroughly dry underneath before I put it back down on the polythene. But I think that's pretty much really helped to seal the wood up and I think I'll be okay at least for a good few years um, before I need to sort of look into uh, replacing it. So there we go. Uh, right, I don't know whether I'm going to sign off here and then start a part two video later on or whether I'm going to just continue this one on. So uh, if this is the end of this video, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in part two.